Um. Ah! Whoa. You have a scary face. Is that going? <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions, Even Tim Corbin. I'm Rick. And you're it's a grab for the world who's Follow on personal YouTube channel, and subscribe below. Today we're doing a video, it's called the 10 Biggest Lies About India. Oh, one. Line number two. <laughs> Waiting for you. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, this is by that uh, we've seen a few FGD facts. The the, uh, the what do you think? Okay, ten biggest lies about India. We I'm know what they were. It's like it's a third world country. Yeah, third world country. Um, they're all in slums. Yeah, that there's slums everywhere. Um, um, there's one language. Yeah, um, one language. They're still owned by England. It's probably the language is like Indian or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they probably. Uh, what language should be Indian? That Bollywood's the only film industry. Yeah. We could go. We could come up with more than ten. Yeah, but uh, let's this, see. Apparently, the ten biggest, ten biggest, according to the this, lie gatherers. This gentleman. Got right it. Here. here we go. India has the second largest population in the world, next to China, and not to mention even the amount of Indians <clears throat> that have immigrated to other countries. And with a lot of people comes a lot of different stereotypes, misconceptions, and lies. Welcome back to another episode of FTD Fashion. Sure, My name leaving is a scarf. Indian, and this is the latest. <laughs> In our biggest <laughs> lie series, we've done them about told. He must several be other countries before, yeah. and now I found ten for India. So let's just jump into everything. Mm -hmm. So the lie at number ten is Indian is a language. language. Yeah. Oh my God! Like, can you speak Indian? Speak Indian? No, 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 no. Indian is not a language. It's a nationality. Okay. And there are hundreds of languages actually spoken throughout India. Yep. And the language of English and Hindi are the most yep. widely spoken language. It's and dialects to those to the next lie. Indian <laughs> speak Hindi? Okay, guys. It's you know, true, I though. get confused with the religion. Wow, the, the video I did with 50 language. Americans? Yeah, I remember. Some of Hindi. them said Hindi. So yes, I know. Hindu is a religion. It's a religion, not Hindi a language. is the language. Yeah. But yeah, you'll definitely be surprised that many Indians don't even Americans speak, speak Hindi Christian. anyways. They speak languages of the Dravidian origin. And as a matter of fact, Hindi isn't even taught in many of the schools in India. Also, every region has its own set of languages, and Hindi is spoken in its purest form in the northern sections of India. Now, the next slide is Indians are poor, but they're happy. Like, so I guess this one comes from watching different <laughs> movies and TV shows. Yeah. You know, I remember that movie Slumdog Millionaire and all of that. There are slums in India. However, the Indian population is there's divided into in every basic country. categories. Like there's the poor, there's the middle class, and then there's the rich. And even though there is a lot of poverty in the country, the biggest economic group is the middle class. Yep. They live great lifestyles and have amazing <laughs> homes as well. Also, some of the richest people in the world live in India. Yeah, so to right. assume that it's just a poor country, I think there's more but billionaires in India than being there are poor, in America. That is just a straight up lie. Yep. The next one is Indians are uneducated. <laughs> this is probably <laughs> one of the most I've actually never heard that stereotypes uh, because Indians like are the highly most educated, educated. they yeah. don't just it's educated. Educated. Such a, like a stores you know Indian educational system is a very important Wait. part to the country India's education families from is different way better than ours. strive to make their children have the best education there's a lot of doctors and engineers that come out of India as well as people with MBAs and PhDs all sorts of major qualifications and business people the education system in India is very competitive and challenging. And I've heard that it's even more challenging than some of the schools over here in the West. Of course so, yeah, it is. Anyways, bottom we line is a lot education. of smart people coming yep. out of India. Now this other one kind of ties into the previous that's, slide, yeah. number seven, but all Indians are IT experts. Yeah, and that's it. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I've gotten those IT calls from India that are just straight up scams. But yeah, this is another big lie. Indians have showcased a lot of different talents in various fields, including the information technology field, of course. But yeah, there's a lot of popular personalities from India, like Priyanka Chopra, she's an actress and a singer. Prime Minister Narendra Modi, he's into politics and he's the current Prime Minister of India. Dhoni, who's big into sports, he's a major cricket player. Dhoni, he's big into sports. 
Literature. Yeah, there's a whole. Modi's big into politics. <laughs> He's the prime minister. It's so five, weird. All marriages are arranged by yeah, that's Indian like parents. And For in sure. all honesty, if you go to India and you speak to the families there, they're actually quite liberal in who their children marry. Even now. as the majority of marriages in India are arranged, there's definitely a huge rise in love marriages. Yes, you know, because, love marriages because and... they really love each other, have nothing to do with the parents. But also we in India, so marriages aren't really, really forced have... upon the kids. We, can do we should do these videos. Yeah, we should. Yeah, Dream we can start teaching people. Open prayer for a lot of Indian parents, like many other countries, for their kids to get married. It's a big lie to say that they're all forced. Now, I actually heard this one this week. Indians yeah, are that's vegetarian a big, that's a big because one they worship here. cows. Yeah. Big so assumption. Indians, they do have a mix of vegetarian, Especially the worshiping cow. The cows just roam everywhere. All, all sorts homes. of terrians. I mean, like, Indians, they eat butter chicken and kebabs with beef. And they well, do have a wide variety of vegetarian dishes as well as non-vegetarian dishes. Really, there's a whole buffet in the country of India. There's also a belief that Indians worship millions of gods. That's true. 330 they million they're... gods to be exact. Now these gods and like goddesses everybody have multiple in India heads like and arms yeah. and all of that. So like what kind of thing is going on here in the religion of Hinduism, which is the largest religion in India? But not many people know that while Hindus do believe that God is in everything, it's all a manifestation of one source and creator of reality, which they refer to and as how about Brahman. Hinduism so the therefore every system. living yeah. and non living thing is viewed as sacred. Kind of Each of the gods and goddesses yeah. in Hinduism also represent individual aspects of Brahman. So for example, Ganesh is worshipped for good fortune and removing obstacles. And Hinduism doesn't actually prescribe any sort of set right. path we knew for there's people. Regions that have the followers celebrate on building their own like gym and connection yeah. with yeah. God. East. And they can pick and choose whichever deity they feel to worship, which all represent an aspect of the one right. true yeah. God anyways. Now the second lie is Indians all do yoga and say namaste. So there's been a huge I mean, growth a, in the new word. Right? spirituality, it's a big one. <laughs> especially here in yeah. the West. And it's brought a lot of different views up in terms of spirituality that's from been appropriated India. Into yeah, the yoga, the yoga culture, practice oh, in the West is completely different from totally the centuries old tradition that is practiced in India. Also, not everyone in India incorporates yoga into their daily lives. And while Great Namaste job. is a very integral <laughs> part in the Indian culture, mm. it's no longer a universal greeting in modern Indian society. Normally, you hear that type of greeting used in formal gatherings or when people are interacting with elders. It's also most common where they speak Hindi in its truest form, and you'll find that in North India. And the final oh. biggest misconception, stereotype, and lie about India <laughs> is true. that India has no toilets. That's like, this is I true. hear this I'm one the lie all the time, right. like seriously. Well, and I, I see them that. in the comment section. You guys are like terrible sometimes towards India. <laughs> Anyways, that's another story though. But yes, you'll find that there's many squatter toilets in India, and also many places don't have toilets. However, the government of India claims that the I situation has been improving I didn't take rapidly it. since 2015. And this is mainly due to the Swash Bharat Abhiyan campaign. You and according to the latest numbers, only 5% of the total population like of India have economy. no access to oh, toilets I, I at all. And that is far I'm weird about from bathrooms. all Indians <laughs> having no toilets. Okay, guys, so those were the 10 biggest those, those misconceptions. Are good. Yeah, those are 10 good facts yeah. that, uh, that, are, that are lies. That are true. Man, that are true lies. But also, like... I think we would have been more surprised at some of these at the beginning than we are because I've none of these were very surprising to us. No, you know, because we, we because we've we been know. we've been in it for the two years. Well, yeah, we would have seen this at the outset and been shocked at some of those and went, "Oh, I didn't know that." Yeah. Whereas now we know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of these are like obviously like, good. I'll what tell you. I think that. I'll tell you that last one there. Uh -huh. So there was a video of a guy. It was a TikTok video. Huh said, I'm 35 years old, he's an American guy, he's in the South. He's, I'm 35 years old and I just had something that was mind blowing, realized something. I'd run out of toilet paper and I didn't have anything else that I could do. And all I had were baby wipes. If you've never wiped your butt with a baby wipe, you haven't lived yet. <laughs> and I was thinking, yeah, Indians don't understand why we would wipe our butt with dry paper. They use water, because yeah. they're smart. The cup next to the... Toilet. Yeah, or they've got the, the little fountain thing, and yeah. it's, it's, yeah, yeah. We're, and what did Americans stack up on when COVID hit? <laughs> Toilet paper. We're so stupid. Yeah, we're very dumb. Yeah, i The rest of the world has like bidets and yes, like, <laughs> yes, yes. 
I think Americans are starting to realize and it's coming more popular. Why do you think there's... I don't go in public pools in America. Mm, gross. Because there's signs that say if you've had any condition... They've, they've tested pool water. If you're eating breakfast or something right now, you won't listen to this. Pool water in a public pool. Mm -hmm. There's fecal matter in there because people don't properly wipe, wipe their booties because they're using dry paper to just smear it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that's why there has to be so much chlorine. No, 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 no. Yes, that's why they put so much chlorine. I will not go in a public pool. <laughs> no freaking way. <laughs> oh, that's so nasty. Yup. But yeah, that was good. Uh, I enjoyed that video. That so uh, let it, if there's more informative videos out there, and if you know <laughs> any big lies, let us know in the comment section. And I'll yeah, you so I can dirty see naughties. It. Yeah. Tell us your big lies about India. We should do these videos. We can do them. We well. can now. Yeah, we can. What are the biggest lies? What's, what's one they didn't cover? What are the biggest lies about India? Oh, here it is. What? It's why we freaking started doing what we're doing. Oh, yeah. That the artistry isn't any good. Mm-hmm. Ha-ha! No, it's all Bollywood. Right, yeah, that it's just cheesy Bollywood musical numbers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Tuk ma ka chal.